Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so first off, the get your criteria. If you're missing anything, any of your items, like an earbud or a sock, uh, they're going to kick you out of the course. It doesn't matter how many you're missing. If you're missing one, they kick you out. Uh, you can miss seven minor uh, gotchas on this. An example of that would be, and we're going to try it, and try and go through everything. If your light is turned off when it should be turned on, like that, right? They're going to get you, so that's minus one. Uh, you can, it's weird the way that they do it. You miss five points for every one item that you mess up uh, for a total of 40 that you cannot miss. So you can miss 35 points. If you hit 40, then they cut you. All of your writing on your clothes, all of your ranks, everything that can be identified to you, for example, my name and my rank needs to be facing up and as worn. All right, I keep saying as worn. What does that mean? This is a great example of not as worn. When you're wearing it, it's buckled. So if it's unbuckled, that's a minus. If it's buckled, you're good to go. Other examples of minuses would be your shorts, your pants, or sorry, your pants are not buttoned. So I'm good there, right? I'm good there. Look at that. That'd be a minor. Right there, because it's not buckled. All of them need to be buckled. Buttoned. And this would also be another minus. So what this needs to look like, it needs to be pulled taut. Oh, okay. You tie a knot in it, and then you tuck it in. And that's one of the benefits of having the spare time that I was talking about, because you can kind of go through and double check these really really silly little, little things that can get messed up just from being in your rug. So mm -hmm. that's what the bottom should look like. Um, and then you're going to go through, make sure your pockets aren't inside out, everything is still buckled, so on and so forth. So I'm not going to do that to my other pants, but the two main things that you can get wrong is buttons and stuff, even these, they'll, they'll check. Um, so for your tap system, like I said, this is not set up to SOP, but the one thing that is going to be on here is your canteen pouch. So you're going to have your metal canteen cup in there. This is going to be buttoned or buckled. If it's unbuckled, then they're going to they're going to get you for that. If this is undone, that's a minus. They're going to get you for that. These keep magazines inside their pouches, little Velcro straps. These need to be tucked in. If they're out like this, that's going to be a minus. Another thing that they're going to get you for on the tap system, if these are unbuckled, or if they're not taped, that's gonna be a minus. So make sure, there's three buckles for this. Uh, actually, correction, there's four. Make sure this is buckled, and this is buckled. And then these are the other two, but these are the ones that you're gonna use to get it on and off. For shoes, like we said, as worn, you would never wear boots like this, right? Your laces are always gonna be tucked in. Um, so this, right, I did that intentionally. That's an example of what correct looks like. That's what incorrect looks like. Right here though, that's right. It needs to be pulled tight. Um, basically, if there's an invisible foot in there, squish the invisible foot. Um, I mean, if they're really, if they're really jerks about it, they'll go through this and they'll stick their head in it to make sure that there's no, there's, yeah, to make sure that there's no holes in it. If there's a hole in it, it's a minus because it's not waterproof if there's a hole in it. So that's that, don't worry about that, I got you. Same thing for your PT shoes, make sure that they're tucked. Right? Um, honestly, as long as they're not hanging out like that, you'll be fine. So tied, this isn't tied, but you know, this is. So this and then tucked, that's what correct looks like. Real quick, before we finish the other half of this, we're gonna go through the rucksack. So this is generally what a, what a decent looking rucksack is, is gonna look like. All of this stuff is buckled. I don't have a bunch of straps going everywhere and looking crazy, so they're probably going to leave something that looks like this alone. But you want to make sure that these are buckled, or sorry, yeah, that these are buckled because you just spent all this time taking all your stuff out. It's very easy to forget to just come back and buckle these, so make sure you do that. And then the same for your sustainment pouches, which you can see more clearly if I unbuckle. So this is, um, this is your sustainment pouch, right? You can choose to keep little items in there that they're going to spot check you for. So like your gloves, your eye throw, your PC belt, a lot of people like to keep that in here, and that's what I did. Um, so when you're doing your packing list, you're gonna be taking that stuff out of here. Again, super easy to just forget to, uh, to keep this unbuckled, so 
Make sure you do your due diligence. Buckle. Buckle. And buckle. The same thing on this side here, okay? Um, your, I guess your chest strap, depending on how you rock, right? Um, it's gonna be unbuckled. Well, it's gonna be unbuckled regardless. So make sure that you take the time, buckle this. This is gonna be unbuckled, so make sure you buckle that. And then tuck these straps to make it look pretty. And then after you've done all of that, you're gonna flip your ruck around and tuck everything in and make sure that it, make sure that it looks good. Um, so that, that looks fine for the inspection. And then we're gonna go back to the other side here. Again, we talked about as worn. What does as worn mean? You've got US Army, or in your case, Air Force. Uh, you've got your rank, your name, and then your unit patches and American flag. You know what your uniform looks like? It's a little bit different than mine, but the main five components are still there. Uh, you're gonna fold it in a way where they can see all of the patches that can identify this uniform. So, since I've ripped this one up already, come around and see how this one is. Like, I, I, I have all the information I need to know about that uniform. So they're gonna see that and they're gonna be like, oh, that's good. Maybe take the extra time to make it look better by putting the color down and such. Uh, yeah, right. we have like the stuff in the same area, so it should be fine. Yes. Um, I already see an issue on this uniform, so I'm gonna talk about it, all right? Look at that. That's not as worn. So this would be a minus. So you gotta make sure that you've got that buckled. Make sure that all of your buttons, oh look, there's another minus. That's crazy, I would be out by now because of that. You keep going through, there's another one. See, I, I would be done. Um, and then the other thing that you wanna do, you wanna make sure that your sleeves are cuffed as far as they'll go, right? Remember, we're, whatever appendage is gonna be in your uniforms, you're gonna squeeze it as tight as you can. So that's as tight as it goes, and that's what, that's what they're gonna look for. If that's not buttoned all the way, that will be a minus. Um, yeah, that's everything for the top. Make sure that your Air Force equivalent is also showing that way. Um, right upward. Like we said, all text is going to be facing up. These are also as worn. So the Gore-Tex will figure out how this is going to look for you. But for us, um, you're going to have your rank here. There's not going to be any service or name tape or anything like that on here because there's no spot for it. Um, they're going to check to make sure that this is as worn as well. So. Everything is buttoned, everything is zipped, everything looks pretty. This is zipped, fantastic. This is also zipped, fantastic. Look at that, that Velcro, it's Velcroed all the way. This is like squishing that invisible hand. That's what we were looking for on the other one. Um, keep it that way. And then, I mean, this, there's not much that you can really do about that, but when you're doing your layout, make sure that you have that tucked in and they can't see that it's sticking out like that. Make sure that your Velcro down here is all Velcroed. Um, yeah, they, I guess they could get you for that as well. And that your zipper is zipped. So just because the Velcro is Velcroed and it looks good, doesn't mean that your zipper is zipped and they can check that as well. All right. This one, I don't know why, but this one just bothered me when I was there. Um, as worn for this one is kind of tough just because of how it's made. You want to make sure that your oh, that your collar is open like this. So I know we say zipped up all the way, but it's not going to be zipped up all the way right here, right? So you want to open again as if you're wearing it. You're not going to zip it up over your face, right? You're going to leave a little bit of uh, room there for you. And also, you know, how there's a hood in the back of your Gore-Tex like that. Right, that, that needs to be tucked in. That would be failing if it were tucked in, but not Velcroed. You know, that would be failing. They could open it up and see clearly that this is not the way that it needs to be. All right. All right, I, I really want to focus on this one. This one's like difficult uh, to get set right. Um, so you, as, long as, it, as long as it looks pretty, your rank is facing upward, you don't have anything crazy going on. They can see that your collar is out the way that it needs to be. Yeah. Um, gloves, some of them, I've heard stories about them like getting people for the orientation of the thumbs. Just 
best practice, thumbs are always in. Um, right, the less ate up you look, the less likely they are to come after you. Same thing for the socks. On the picture, the socks are facing outward from the middle. So one, two, three, you can see them there like that. Um, if you can get them to look nicer than this, absolutely do that. Uh, but you're allowed to fold the top down underneath so that you can make room for the rest of your stuff. Your belt uh, is going to be off to the side and rolled up. Um, I'm sure you don't have anything crazy with that going on. And then, so for your iPro, uh, ignore that I have a second pair of iPro in here, but if you have this left open, like that, they're going to get you for that. That's a minor, so this would be five points. Always make sure that your stuff is zipped up, secured. Um, and that's the same thing for the, the ear pro, actually. If you have your ear pro open like this, or even even like that, they're gonna get you. That's gonna, that would be a minor, that'd be five full points. That'd be one of the seven, one seventh of the way there to being kicked out. You don't want that. Always, always make sure that that's good. Um, it's, it's probably gonna rain while you're there, honestly. Make sure that you, I didn't do this, I should have, uh, have a big old plastic bag for your aerosol handbook. Uh, you're allowed to keep your uh, aerosol handbook in the plastic bag during the layout. All right, very last thing. Sorry I skipped over, but at aerosol school, it is very important that you always have your canteen filled up all the way. When you uh, move it around, you shouldn't hear any water moving around, no air bubbles, nothing like that. So for all of your layouts, you're going to have a full canteen. Uh, that would be minor. That is all. Does that make sense? Yes. Thank you. Absolutely.